This bill likely flew under the radar for many parents, despite the fact that it had a number of community uh, meetings, public hearings, revisions throughout this legislative session. But now that it's been signed into law, all kids in public schools in our state are going to learn more about the contributions of LGBTQ people. A new state law in Washington is mandating a whole new lesson plan for public school students that includes the history of underrepresented groups, including LGBTQ. I don't believe that's the state's responsibility. It really flew under the radar for many parents using words like diversity, equity, and inclusion, but not specifically sexual orientation. When you break down, our main reason for being opposed to it is more or less bringing the sexualization of children up at a very young age. I think that this is based off of a stereotype. Acknowledging the existence of LGBT people does not inherently sexualize anybody, doesn't promote sexual behavior. The new lessons are to be age appropriate, developed by June of 2025. The committees creating the curricula can include parents, but parents must make up less than 50% of the members on the committee. This bill forcing curriculum selection that would praise and highlight gay pride activists or gender confused individuals will only drive more parents away as our public education system seeks to promote agendas over public education. I think that we should pump the brakes. The fact is we just need to get back to reading, writing, and arithmetic. But Danny Eschini with the Gender Justice League takes it back to studies that show kids who see others like themselves in school have better attendance records and have higher achievements. Acknowledging the facts of our community, the reality of the world that we live in, and the people that are in that world is not the same as encouraging any type of one particular behavior or belief and as Gary Wilson said, there are a number of people who are now very concerned that this new curricula will only exacerbate the existing exodus of students leaving public schools here in Washington. If that happens, there could be some districts strapped for cash since funding is based on enrollment. Live in Seattle, Denise Whitaker, Como News.